How often do you consider the vertical stabilizer when marveling at an aircraft in flight? A question that perhaps doesn't cross your mind often, but the vertical stabilizer, or tail fin, as it's also known, holds immense significance in the world of aviation. This static part of an aircraft's vertical tail is far more than just a decorative appendage at the rear of the plane. It is a vital piece of engineering that contributes significantly to an aircraft's performance and safety. Without it, an aircraft would struggle to maintain directional stability, making it difficult to control and potentially dangerous. Imagine a weather vane. Just as it points into the wind to show its direction, an aircraft must stay pointed in the direction it's flying. This is where the vertical stabilizer comes in. It provides what's known as your control, stability, and trim. These are essential for keeping an aircraft steady and on course, especially in the face of changing wind conditions and during intricate maneuvers like crosswind landings. The vertical stabilizer works in harmony with the movable rudder. Together, they enable trim in your compensating for moments caused by thrust or drag asymmetry. They also provide your control and stability, ensuring the aircraft stays pointed in the desired direction. But it's not just about the function. The vertical stabilizer's efficiency also depends on its position relative to the aircraft's center of gravity. The shorter the aircraft, the larger the vertical tail needs to be for better stability. This relationship is quantified in the vertical tail volume coefficient a measure that influences the performance of the vertical stabilizer. The vertical stabilizer's role is not restricted to just large commercial aircraft. From sailplanes to jet transport planes, the vertical stabilizer is a critical component, ensuring steady and controlled flight across a range of aircraft types and sizes. So, the next time you're watching an aircraft soar across the sky, take a moment to appreciate the vertical stabilizer. It may not be the most glamorous part of the plane, but it's undoubtedly one of the most crucial. As we'll explore, the vertical stabilizer plays a critical role in providing control, stability, and trim in yaw. So, what exactly is the role of the vertical stabilizer in an aircraft? The vertical stabilizer, or tail fin, is the fixed part of the vertical tail of an aircraft. Now, why is it so critical? Well, it performs three major roles each crucial to the aircraft's performance. Firstly, it provides control, stability, and trim in your. But what does that mean? Picture this. You're in an aircraft, and you want to turn right or left. The movement that enables this turn is called yaw, a rotation around the aircraft's vertical axis. It's like swiveling your head from left to right, keeping your body still. Now, the vertical stabilizer, along with the movable rudder hinged to it, provides stability in yaw. It keeps the aircraft pointed in the desired direction, preventing unnecessary turning or spinning. This is also known as directional or weathercock stability. Secondly, the vertical stabilizer and rudder duo allows for trim in yaw. Imagine the aircraft is facing some asymmetry in thrust or drag. This could be due to strong winds or engine failure. The aircraft might start to turn uncontrollably, but the vertical stabilizer and rudder step in, compensating for these moments and restoring balance. Thirdly, the vertical stabilizer and rudder together facilitate your control. This control is especially crucial during crosswind landings when the aircraft needs to initiate a side slip to land safely. So in a nutshell, the vertical stabilizer is the static component that helps an aircraft maintain its direction, balance and control in yaw. It teams up with the movable rudder to ensure the aircraft can effectively respond to different flight conditions, whether it's compensating for asymmetry, maintaining a steady course or handling tricky landings. These roles of the vertical stabilizer are not just important, they are absolutely essential to safe and efficient flight. Without the vertical stabilizer doing its job, maintaining control of the aircraft would be a formidable challenge. Understanding these functions underlines why the vertical stabilizer is so vital to safe and efficient flight. Now let's examine the position and efficiency of the vertical stabilizer. This crucial component's effectiveness is largely determined by its position relative to the center of gravity. Picture the aircraft as a giant seesaw. The center of gravity is the pivot point, and the vertical stabilizer is like the tail end of the seesaw. Its position can significantly impact the aircraft's stability and control. 
Now, consider the size of the aircraft. Shorter aircraft typically have larger vertical stabilizers. Why, you ask? Well, shorter aircraft have a smaller moment arm, which is the distance between the center of gravity and the vertical stabilizer. To compensate for this, they need a larger vertical stabilizer to maintain stability. This brings us to an important concept, the vertical tail volume coefficient. This is a measure that combines the area of the vertical tail and its moment arm, then non-dimensionalizes it. It's like a score of how effective the vertical stabilizer is at providing stability. The vertical tail volume coefficient can vary depending on the type of aircraft. For instance, sailplanes which are designed for slow, efficient flight have a low coefficient around 0.02. On the other hand, jet transport aircraft, which are much larger and faster, have a higher coefficient up to 0.09. These differences reflect the fact that different aircraft have different needs. A sailplane needs to be efficient and maneuverable, so it has a small vertical stabilizer. A jet transport, however, needs to maintain stability at high speeds and during complex maneuvers, so it has a larger vertical stabilizer. So what have we learned? The position of the vertical stabilizer relative to the center of gravity plays a critical role in an aircraft's stability. The size of the stabilizer is also key, especially in shorter aircraft. And the vertical tail volume coefficient gives us a way to quantify the effectiveness of the vertical stabilizer. It's clear that the position and size of the vertical stabilizer greatly influence an aircraft's stability and control. Finally, Let's talk about the mounting and configurations of the vertical stabilizer. This crucial component is typically perched on top of the rear fuselage, a position that allows it to effectively maintain the aircraft's stability and direction. However, the positioning is not arbitrary. It's a result of careful calculations and design considerations that aim to optimize the aircraft's performance. Now, when it comes to configurations, there are two common types that you'll see in most aircraft. The first is the conventional tail. This is where the vertical stabilizer is placed at the rear of the aircraft, with the horizontal stabilizer positioned just below it. This configuration is favored for its simplicity and effectiveness. It provides good stability and control, making it a popular choice for a wide range of aircraft. The second configuration is known as the T-tail, in this setup, the horizontal stabilizer is placed on top of the vertical stabilizer, forming a T-shape, hence the name. This configuration is often found in high-wing aircraft, where it helps to keep the tail clear of the engine's exhaust and the turbulence it can produce. The T-tail also has the advantage of being less likely to stall, as the horizontal stabilizer is positioned above the wing's wake. It's important to note, though, that neither of these configurations is inherently better than the other. Each has its own advantages and is suited to different types of aircraft and flight conditions. The choice of configuration is determined by a variety of factors, including the aircraft size, design, intended use and more. So, whether it's a conventional tail or a T-tail, the vertical stabilizer plays a vital role in the aircraft's performance. From its position on the fuselage to its configuration, every aspect of this component is meticulously designed and engineered. This attention to detail helps ensure that the aircraft can fly safely and efficiently, maintaining stability and control even in challenging flight conditions. From mounting to configuration, every aspect of the vertical stabilizer is designed with precision to ensure optimal performance. In summary, the vertical stabilizer plays an integral role in the flight of an aircraft. It's the steadfast backbone of the vertical tail providing control, stability, and trim in yaw. It works in harmony with the rudder to compensate for moments caused by thrust or drag asymmetry to initiate side slip during crosswind landings and to keep the aircraft pointed in the desired direction. The effectiveness of this vertical tail is influenced by its position relative to the center of gravity, with shorter aircraft typically boasting larger vertical tails for better stability. The performance also relies heavily on the vertical tail volume coefficient, a concept that encompasses non-dimensionalized area and arm. The vertical stabilizer is usually perched on top of the rear fuselage, with configurations often seen as conventional tail or T-tail, 
particularly in high-wing aircraft. All these elements weave together to create an essential component in aircraft design, one that ensures our flights are stable and controlled. Remember, the vertical stabilizer is crucial for maintaining stability during flight. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos for more insightful content.